All new Doctor Who rumors, or as the professionals call them, Doctor Whomers. It's Nerdist News. Aren't we the professionals? Guys, December 25th is only a little over a month away, which means we'll be celebrating a very special birthday pretty soon. That's right, December 25th is the third anniversary of Peter Capaldi taking over as the Doctor. Woo! It's been three years, two series, and a few Christmas specials since Capaldi stepped up to the TARDIS, and if we know our regeneration cycles, that means that he should be getting ready to step down sometime soon. Yes, as much as we've all enjoyed Capaldi returning the Doctor to his older, slightly crankier roots, it's rare for an actor to inhabit the role much beyond three series. That means Capaldi's third series, starting sometime early next year, will most likely be his last. Now, the Who More Will is going crazy, speculating about what Doctor Who could become post the 12th Doctor. In fact, The Mirror, a British entertainment tabloid of some ill repute, ran an article just yesterday saying that the BBC is pushing for the show to start over fresh with series 11 and are hoping for a return to the David Tennant era when you had a dashing male lead and young female companion. The article goes on to mention that the network has been disappointed with the recent drop in Who merchandise sales and wants to boost its popularity amongst kids. Now, as we mentioned, The Mirror is not necessarily the most trustworthy of news sources, so feel free to sprinkle a few grains of salt over those rumors, but nonetheless, they still give cause for a little bit of concern, so let's break them down. First off, the idea that the BBC wants to take any kind of major creative control over Doctor Who seems pretty misguided. When the show came back in the mid-2000s, it was a hit mainly because, yeah, Christopher Eccleston looks dope in a leather jacket, not unlike myself, but also because showrunner Russell T. Davies was given space to realize his vision. Same when Stephen Moffat took the wheel a few years later and revitalized the show by making it his. With series 11, Moffat will step down and new showrunner Chris Chibnall will step up. And while we can't say for sure what Chibnall will have in store for us, trying to recreate the Tenant run, one of the show's most beloved eras, seems like a good recipe for disappointment. Also, Doctor Who hasn't been bought by Disney, not yet at least, so for now, we'd really love the BBC to back away from the whole merchandising first mentality. Besides, as our own Kyle Anderson pointed out in his article on the subject yesterday, the show has been off the air for an entire year. It's kind of hard to get kids excited about buying toys from a show when there's no show to be excited about in the first place. Maybe wait for the show to return before we start shoveling all those Capaldi Funkos into a landfill somewhere. But arguably the most dispiriting thing about these rumors isn't just that the BBC wants to return to the tenant era, it's that the era is described specifically as a dashing male lead and a young female companion. Apparently, every time the doctor regenerates, so does the patriarchy. Hashtag ask me about my feminist Time Lord agenda. No, seriously, ask me. I don't know if I really have an answer for you, but I'll figure something out. Fans have been clamoring for a few regeneration cycles now that the Doctor comes back as anything besides a white British dude. And while Capaldi's Scottish accent offered us a small variation on the formula, for most of us that just wasn't enough. Luckily, if these rumors don't give us hope for a more intersectional Doctor, the show itself does. For a few series now, Doctor Who has been getting pretty blunt about the fact that race and gender aren't fixed things when it comes to regeneration. We've had the Master return as a lady, and in the last series finale, a white male Time Lord regenerates as a black female Time Lord. It's clear that Moffat is laying the groundwork for a doctor that looks different from the ones that we're used to. Anyways, if we are, in fact, getting ready for, let's say, our first female doctor, then there could be some merit in a return to the spirit of the Tenant era. A charming, swashbuckling, kick-ass lady doctor always rushing to rescue her naive male companion. We'll sign up for that! But what do you guys think? Are you worried about where who might be headed after season 10? And who is your perfect Doctor Cat? Casting choice, let's discuss. We're talking more Doctor Who with our resident Whovians today at 3 p.m. on twitch.tv slash Nerdist. And it's our What the Friday Nerdist News Talks Back. We run down the funniest internet videos of the week and just laugh and laugh and laugh. It's a wibbly wobbly good old fun time. Check us out over at Nerdist.com and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Nerdist News. Yeah.